marketing, marketing out the marketing. 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 I marked marketing. shit once. I marked <laughs> shit just now. <laughs> yes, you did. I smell you marked shit. <laughs> And welcome to number three in the uh, Super Bowl series. Uh, three out of six, if you haven't been paying attention, which if you haven't, you should be, because this is entertaining shit. Well, number three, Budweiser. It's brewed by Anheuser Busch and Hauser. And Hauser. I wanted to get that German pronunciation <laughs> is it, is in there. Doogie Anheuser. And uh, yeah, I like it. Let's go with it. Let's shoot that. It's five percent ABV. Um, it's a little bit higher than the other um, light beers in the category. It holds 7.4% of the market share. Beer Advocate gives us a 56 out of 100, whereas Rate Beer actually rates this as zero, much like some of the other ones that we've had on this list, apart from the one that didn't even get a rating because it was not applicable. There's actually more than one that doesn't get a rating. Even better. Oh, yeah. Glad we've been here. Yeah. Uh, let's twist her off and let's just stick it on in her. Wow. <sighs> Smells like every single fucking thing else we've had tonight, except more rice. Very cereal scent out of the bottle. With a touch of beech wood. And they add the rice to try to make this crisper. That's the worrisome part about they it. They add the rice to make it, sa make it seem crisp and light and basically the uh, fucking fluffy biscuit equivalent of a beer up to the lips and over the gums look out stomach here she comes fucking rice every time I have this beer which by all means is not a bad or terrible beer but I cannot get past the fact that it has that unnecessary cereal taste to it. It's not bad. Oh, I mean, oh, there, there, there's bad, good, <clears throat> and not either. And this is definitely <clears throat> not in the good. This is not in the good. This is not in the bad. <clears throat> but compared to number six and number five, at least this is progressive. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, yeah, it's, I it's better than number five and six. I really wonder if they didn't put in the rice and they backed off that beechwood aging what this might be. Bud Light. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Bud Light with a taste. Basically, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Bud Light with color. I'm not sure why you're so goddamn proud of your beechwood aging because it's just not good. Uh, Neither is that. I think a lot of what puts them at this is this company has an amazing marketing campaign. If you watch the Super Bowl and you watch the commercials, everybody looks for the Budweiser they commercial. Do. And I can't knock them for that. No, because, because they're, they're the, and they're fantastic yeah. commercials. Yeah, it's great. I mean, we need them to be our director. Y'all yeah. edit our shit, please. It's a shit beer. But the fact is, it's number three on the list. It isn't a great beer, by no means at all. Okay, it's... Bud Light with flavor, pretty much. But whenever I'm going somewhere, you know, you know, if I show up at a party somewhere, I'm hanging out with my friends, and they have a, a cooler, and it's got Budweiser on one side, and some shitty ass beer on the other, Bud Light, Natty, whatever it might be. Obviously, we're not his friends. I'm gonna grab the Budweiser before I grab the others. Budweiser is the Bud Light for someone who wants flavor. With a historical respect, Guys, I'll never knock you on that. It's neither great nor bad. And this is a middle-of-the-road beer for me. It's a good late-night beer. You know, it's cheap, not too harsh on a wallet. You know, uh, it, it, has, it has flavor, at least. It's got that going for it. It might not be a great flavor, but it's got it. This is a beer <clears throat> that, in multiple occasions, has left me in a conundrum. Because I've had it on tap, and it's not a good beer. It's... In those occasions, it was not a thumbs down. It's got the beech wood and the rice, and it's nothing more than a money maker. Um, but from a craft beer drinker standpoint, no. Um, beer advocate, give us a score. Give it. <laughs> it's almost like rickets, just not quite as severe. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can walk just straight as shit. Beer advocate, give us a. 
Whoa. <laughs> Edit. <laughs> Not touching that. Edit. 18 minutes. Uh, One of these days I'm going to put some of that shit in there. That's what's going to make us famous.